All right, hello. Looks like we are playing against some dwarves. Let's have a quick look at them. Um, okay, two troll slayers have leveled up and taken guard. Uh, that seems to be... Oh, they've also leveled up the runner and taken tackle on the runner. Interesting. Uh, that's... And to... And... No, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. How are they doing? Two and one? Okay. So they have a, a decent amount to spend. No wizard, but they could... Oh, they didn't use any. Okay. We'll see what's happening. <laughs> it's unusual not to want to use your um, petty cash. Okay, we seem to just checking my recordings. Going okay. In a few minutes, I have to go grab my tea. But uh, hopefully I remember that. So yeah, lots of tackle, um, generally not what we want versus our Dark Elves. Uh, the Witch Elf is not going to enjoy that a whole lot. Uh, I suppose if you want to look on the plus side, we haven't got a lot of dodge yet. So um, it's not going to affect a lot of our team, but it, it's going to mean the uh, the dodge for us isn't as effective as it would be. Uh, I did between uh, the end of the last match we played. I had 100k. Uh, if you remember, we were a line lineman down. So I um, I thought about saving one more game, getting a second witch elf. But I actually don't think you have to have two witch elves. Uh, I don't view that as an essential. Yeah, our tackle suddenly that we were so desperate for last game is now uh, of no use at all. Um, but yeah, I think one Witch Elf, it still threatens the sides. Um, uh, but, you know, the second one is nice, but you do start pushing your team value up as well. It's more players to try and protect. For instance, if I get a second Witch Elf, all of a sudden I've got four Witch Elves and... I mean, four blitzers, two witch elves to try and hide. So a blitzer is going to have to stand on the front and take a hit at the start. So you start getting more positionals than just regular Joes, which has its advantages and disadvantages. It does mean if the one gets hurt, of course, you still got another one. But I'll probably still get one at some point if... Oh. Okay, let's just see what happens here. Okay, I think we got the better of those two. Uh, hmm. Okay, this is this is <laughs> this is going to come back to bite me, but I'm actually going to apo that so that we keep the man advantage because now they are one guy down for this, at least for this drive. I didn't notice they had twelve players. Um, they're one man down for now. We we are not, and it's a blodger, which as as we've already stated, there's not. Many guys that don't have... We've got one over there. We've got two players on their team that don't have um, tackle right now. But it's a blitzer, and blitzers have the block, which is nice. Uh, any any time we can potentially stop our players getting clobbered is nice. I've played dwarfs... Uh, I've played as dwarfs some in the past. I've played against them far too many times, but I've played as them a few times, and um, they... They, they're definitely a very different style of play. It's all um, it's all about positioning um, and making sure that you get the better of having all the assists. Um, not getting... They, they're a team that can't adapt to adjusting to one side. So if you, if you sort of try and protect one flank too heavily with them, another team can easily outpace you getting the other way, so they they do take some finesse. Alright, so it looks like they're just sort of doing a screen off right now. Ok, 
kind of curious to see how they play. They they were only level 16 player, which doesn't mean they don't play in real life. Uh, and still know the game very well, but it's... It's... From what I've seen so far, maybe they are a little new. Uh, picking tackle before even block on both your runners is, is unusual. Uh, the guard on the troll slayers, I would also say is... A little unusual, but not. Um, I I think I, it makes more sense to me. So I'm going to stand this guy up because I'm thinking of trying to get somebody on the ball here. Um, I really, I would love to try a one dice block here, to um, I'm going to do the same here. Sorry, to get this guy off and run through and ha have a natural blitz, but it's quite a distance. So I think we're just going to. Yeah, we're just going to come on, th or we're going to attempt to come on through. Oh, he's got guard, of course. That's fine, we can do it this way. He's got guard as well. Okay, that's, uh, that's a pain. I hadn't really considered that. Um, hmm. Really well positioned all of a sudden. So do I try and push it? Maybe I do try and push this over. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I think I'm going to make a nod to Sensible by pushing this guy here. And let's pop a second one over here. So at least if they push heavily down here, we're not totally out of position. Um, and then we're going to Let's take one semi-sensible. This will probably use my reroll now. Actually, I'm not going to reroll if this fails. Okay, it didn't. Um, and then we're going to try the one dice here. A push, I don't think, is going to be enough. Hmm. I might try the Witch Elf here. Okay, so we're going to call the Blitz first. We're going to be a little silly here. Okay, I'm actually going straight for the second here so that we can get into this Blitz. And we're going to do a GFI in a second push because of Frenzy. If the GFI works. Oh, we got the skull. I'm going to re-roll that. Nice. So for now, we're just going to push it back. Um, it would have been nice if it was next to us. And we don't really expect this to work because we don't have dodge. But I think I am going to put the second guy in the vicinity. Uh, unless he falls over. I failed the easy one. They always fail the easy one. So that wasn't the most sensible play in the world, but um, I figured she has dodge. Um, it's worth going in. And we've got the ball loose, so they're going to have to sort of do quite a big move back here to try and rescue this. I almost wish I had stood them all up on the front here, but... It's dwarf, so they'll punish you for that pretty fast. They can actually... You'll see dwarf players um, go for one dice blocks uh, a lot more readily than other players. Okay, going for a blitz here. Um, oh, this is a blitzer, so he's got the movement. Oh, that worked out nicely for him. That's why we badly need <laughs> block on our witch elf. But this is still, I mean, you can already see how far back they are. Like, even when he gets up, he can't really get past this kind of range. So it puts them, it puts their sort of drive down the pitch a long way further back than they'd like it to be. And actually, they don't have that many guys up here, so I can potentially bring these guys up and 
continue some good pressure. When I was standing people up here, I was, wasn't anticipating blitzing the ball. Um, but it actually kind of worked out in a way because it's stopping them from getting a lot of help over here. Okay, so that's a one dice into a one dice for the second. Okay, that's nice. Reroll gone. Is he really going to dodge out a long beard? That's very dodgy. No, he's going for the block. That's more sensible. At some point, he should really do this pickup because if he doesn't get round to it, like if that had been another skull, the ball is open and I just pick it up and walk in. Uh, so where's he going to go? He doesn't really have a lot of options. Okay. That gives me some potentials. This may be another Witch Elf block. Because I can cancel the assist this way. And yeah, I can do a... Ooh, yeah. I wish I could get somebody else up there. So I can cancel the assist. Pop this guy here. Do a jump up block. I don't think I have a second person to to block with though. I wish I could get somebody else over there to assist. Uh but first I think we're gonna continue to stand stand them up. So that whatever happens they um have some annoying blocking to do like not many of these guys are gonna be able to move. Hang on, this guy's free. So I could put him there. Kind of looking at recovery as well. Okay, I think we're just going to use this guy to stand up here. We're actually going to use this guy to stand up here. A uh, token of standing up, you should stand up. And I think go here. Could potentially do a block here. Oh, never mind, I forgot about guard. Either way, this might try and be somebody I pull through to recover if things went really well. We're just going to have to get an assist here. And then we're going to push, push. And I'm actually going to make this a blitz because I don't think I have anything I want to blitz more than this and uh, there is always a chance when you jump you jump up on a 2 plus for uh, elves uh, and if you fail that jump up that's a pain because you're re-rolling the wrong thing um, I'm going to re-roll that because knocking the ball out would be nice but uh, this guy goes down pretty easily so this is just a lot, a lot better because we get to have a chance of picking it up and we're going to scoot it out of the reach of most of the team. I think I'm actually just going to go here, push here, in hopes of getting onto this guy. And we're not going to block here. We're going to. It's going to give them a turn of lots of blocks. Um, but honestly, we can't complain too much. I guess this guy could do some risky dodges to try and take me down. <coughs> I really need to go get my tea in a second. Yeah, so that that's his best chance. But obviously it's not a great chance. So we've, we've used some rerolls up um, early, which I don't like, but I think when you, when you have a chance to put some real pressure on, um, it's it's worth it. So yeah, it's gonna do some reliable blocks. He can block down these guys pretty easy. That's a one dice, so that's not reliable. He could block here, of course, and then this guy's free. Okay, he's still still freed him up. 
and that's actually sensible because had he have done the push, he uh, he gives me a, an assist if he puts him there. Okay, that's nice. I put this guy here because um, this guy doesn't have. Oh, never mind. He's he still got me down. So this is what's scary about using your apothecary on the first turn, with before the first turn, in fact. He's doing a lot of one dice blocks before he does the blitzing, which is interesting. Yeah. And I can kind of see what he's going for. He's trying to, you know, get some attrition through getting numbers on me. Uh, which eventually will pay off. But it's using, it's used all his rerolls now. Um, let's see, okay. I guess there's no real reason not to go for this. The good news is we can stall it out a little bit now. Uh, and pressure, maybe score with a turn or two to go. And really pressure his attempt to get back. So I need to decide what I actually want to do here. I'd like to have a go at this guy. I think that's going to be my plan. And then that lets me get up here. Which lets me go here. And then we're going to pressure this guy onto the sideline. I think I'm going to stick in base contact here. Um, I'm going to try and at least get these guys up. No need to reroll that. Oh. <clears throat> I'm going to grab my tea. I don't have an apothecary anyway. I don't think I have too many choices on his turn. So yeah, honestly, his best w way back into this game is is probably just through hurting my guys. Or well, putting some heavy pressure on and making me score with three or four turns left gives him a chance to score himself before the turn is over. I mean, the half. So he mostly seems to have given up on the ball, uh, which is mostly good for, for the most part, good for us. I expect to get fouled though, because he does, whilst this guy is injured, he does have another guy who uh, can come on. So yeah, that needs dealing with. He may just dodge this guy in that direction as well. That makes sense. Okay, that's real dangerous for him. Oh, there's temptation there. There's temptation to... 
Is he just going to stay there? Go a little bit further. Or do another dodge. Nope. <clears throat> okay, so the temptation is that I can potentially come around and surf this guy off, but I would want an assist. Now I can dodge this guy up there. Of course, the other alternative is to blitz this guy down, push him off. Don't have any good assists though here, even if I do pick this guy off, everybody's in tackle zones. He can't quite reach. I'm not going to stand any of these guys up right now. So I think what I do... I do have a reroll. Temptation is too too strong. I wish I wish he'd have, you know, dodged this guy another square or two. Could have just run up with this guy nice and easy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stand him up, and we're gonna try and do this. Oh, that's yeah, that didn't make sense. <clears throat> it's my brain not working. Uh, I have to reroll that. Because it will be... <laughs> yeah, I'd have needed to get him up uh, to the side. I can still blitz him, but um, it's not really where I wanted him. So I, he provides the assist even if I go this way. That's nice. I guess we'll just try and block this down. Nope. So yeah, that wasn't my best turn ever. So I think I probably can stall all the way. We'll, we'll see. It looks like he's beginning to put the pressure on. Um, what, what I'm tempted to do is try and score next turn, which gives him three turns. Uh, three turns, no reroll to try and score. Uh, which means he's going to have to move fast, which means there's going to be holes. Um, probably. Um, unless, unless he gets something real nice. <clears throat> it's going to be a, uh, an imperfect um, push, which means we have maybe a chance of getting the ball back. If we don't get the ball back, uh, and they do manage to score, um, it, we go in 1-1, one, one, which I guess isn't the end of the world because we get the ball. Okay, is there anything worth doing? No, I think he's put enough pressure on there that whilst I could just go up here, I think I'm actually going to try and score. Stick with the plan. Still got the KO. So that puts him a player up for the moment. Um, no real adjustment needed. So let's see what he does.
I'm a little sad that I wasted the uh, the reroll chasing this guy. Because <clears throat> if we if we had an extra reroll, oh, we do get a blitz. Oh, that's very deep. I mean, I have to send somebody through there. It's just, it's the law. Do I, how silly do I get here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um. Having real indecision today. So we could do this. We will probably get counter counter surf though for doing that. Or we could just we could do this and try and send some I think this is the more sensible play. It's not ideal. Um, okay, because of the situation, I'm actually going to try and dodge through here. I'm kind of scared of this, this Slayer, uh, and it puts the extra pressure up there. Can I get anybody else around? I'm going to try and get this guy through. It's got tackle here, so okay, that's good. Is there anybody I want to stand up? You know, I think I'm just going to leave the witch elf towards the back. I want to have her up there. At least she's got some good angles to get through there. Um, is there anybody else I want to stand up? Not really. I guess I'll at least bring this guy so that he can make a move. So his um He's in a bit of a, a pickle now because I've got pressure in his backfield. Uh if he really wants to I don't know if he'll do something crazy. Might like, just pick it up and throw it down here and then my backfield isn't the most protected. Is he gonna try and surf me? It would be he'd have to put somebody else he'd have to put this guy Hmm. He can't get that guy around for a second assist, so that's nice. So it would be like a, a one dice, a two dice into a one dice. Blitz is one of the cruelest kickoff results there is. Especially against elves. But honestly, it can be bad against anybody because not only do they get to reposition their defense, they get to actually push past your line and pressure the ball before you've moved. That's why you have to try and set up your... Um, your front line to have a decent coverage across the front because if you leave the sides free you're just inviting a blitz almost. So his chances of scoring are really low now. So I'd imagine he's just gonna go for protect. Where's his other runner? One runner Why do I not see his other runner? The tackle on the other runners is confusing me a bit. I thought he had two. No. Maybe he just said one. I don't know. Did you run him down past me when I wasn't looking? Nope. Okay, that's kind of a pain. Uh, 
Okay. So we're not expecting him to score. I think I'm going to pick up some guys anyway. Just so that if he does do some kind of crazy throw to a long beard. The long beard's not going to have an easy time getting around. Um, now we've got enough to pressure this ball obviously. Uh, the downside is, is that all the dodges are risky. So we're going to start by putting somebody in place. Just in case. We've still got some annoying pressure there. I can't move the witch off, so we're going to put our assist in first. And then we're going to try and blitz here. Uh, he does not have blocks. I'm going to take the block option because it could still fall next to this guy, but it's less likely. Okay, that's nice. I want to pick that up. Okay. Uh, we're going to try and jam up as many guys as we can up here. Just, I'm just having a little look to see if there's anybody better suited. Uh, this guy has a better... Okay, wouldn't have mattered. Oh, you know, it would have mattered. Had I done this guy, he wouldn't have got pushed off the pitch, but... Hmm. I, I figured let's do the... Let's do the one in, you know... Uh, the five and six chance of working rather than the... The three plus two plus. So, we're holding the ball. Uh, looks like he wants to get this guy out. Fair enough. That's a pretty, pretty big certainty. And if he gets like a KO or an injury, that's uh, that gives him real good numbers for the second half. Now he can concentrate on taking this guy out. But we do still have two here that are lurking. So he's probably going to want to bring some of these guys into pressure and then take this guy down. There's no real need for that. Yeah, there you go. And he's going to want to use a tackle guy, which he hasn't. I'd have done that the other way around myself to get the tackle guy in there, but maybe he'll... He rolled a pair. <laughs> Pushing it towards my guy, which is risky. Okay, it fell okay, though. For, for Mostly for him, because he's not going to score, so he can just get some guys on here. Um, our best bet may be to try and bobble the ball out, see where it goes. Yeah, if he's going to have three guys on the ball, we've got to bobble it. Just going to punch some more guys down here now. If he had punched this guy, he could have run this guy up to stand next to this one. <clears throat> so I think he may be a bit of a newer player. That would have been nice, nice back up here, but I'm not going to complain too hard. So how many turns do we have left? I have two, he has one. So let's stand up here. I think we do this. First, we're going to try and Pop him on the ball if we're lucky. Would have been even nicer had it have... Um, I'm going to follow this just to make it harder for these two to catch. If it comes out that way. Oh. Oh. Don't catch that. Okay. That's just as bad as it was. Um, hmm. Hmm. Decisions. Do I just dive in there? I don't think I do. I think I... I think I stand next to it. We've still got one more turn. 
it's in a bad place. Um, yeah. Maybe we can get somebody else heading in that direction if this goes well. That's at least well enough. So we got somebody else up there to help. Maybe have my witch in a position to help if I can knock this guy over. Do I try this? No. If it was a push onto the ball, I would, but... We just gotta have as many... many guys with a chance of doing something useful. So this guy's out of scoring range, which is sad. So you could theoretically knock down all of my guys in scoring range. Although this guy could get up and score. I'd be tempted to move some of these guys across first, just in case something goes wrong. But yeah, depending on what goes on here, the aim is going to be the same, just to see if we can bobble it out, pick it up. Even if we have to one dice the uh, push onto the ball. Okay, this is nice. Uh, downside is he's already got three guys on the ball. I expect that to increase. No, maybe not increase, but it's not going down. So yeah, that's sensible. Maybe bring this guy in here or something. Doesn't really matter. Maybe one dice this? I don't know. I don't think I would. So we're going to be relying on one dice blocks to see what we can do here. We're going to start with this one, uh, seeing as he doesn't have block. Can't get an assist on either of these guys. I had a feeling I was going to do that. Well, we can't be too sad. Overall, a good half. I was just going for the extra, <laughs> the extra there. Two, two uh, touchdowns, and that's it. That's game. One touchdown. There is still a good chance to mess up. That was nice. Um, still plenty of time for me to mess up my drive and give him a chance. Oh, he's sitting up. I'm a little tired. Not playing very sensibly. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to push hard here, um, we might feign a side, we're, it's going to kind of depend on how they like to defend. Uh, I think we do take a, a hit on their slayers, seeing as they've put them on the front line there. Don't have anything good for the witch to do, so I think I'm going to just make her the ball carrier again. Leveling her up here would be really nice. I'm actually just going to sit back from this one. I don't, I don't need to necessarily block him all down. Yeah, maybe I'll start there and blitz in. If I knock one of these slayers over. Uh, let's put this guy in the middle. That makes more sense. All right.
so they get an extra reroll. I think that just puts them up to three, though. Okay, that was a... Looks like he didn't aim for the middle there, probably. Don't know what the scatter was. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to pop it on the Witch Elf. Stick with the plan. If you're playing Lizardman or something, this is where you put it on a Saurus. When you get a free... Free pass to somebody. Uh, we're just going to push that one away. I don't want to get too embroiled with these guys. Hmm. That one I am going to keep here because I can have another hit on him if this blitz goes okay. Oops. One dice. I forgot I was <laughs> putting him here. I told you I wasn't playing very sensibly. It wouldn't have been the end of the world, but it would have been sad. So, plan is we just make this a tough line to get through. The The emphasis is on them to really bring the pressure here. Um, I'm actually going to go all the way up here. They might try and push through the middle. Go here. Oops. Yeah. Okay, no. No, let's stick with what we had. Yeah, if I was playing a more experienced player here, I'd, this wouldn't be going so well. <laughs> My brain's not 100% here. Played a nice variety of opponents so far. I'm surprised I haven't faced any Chaos Dwarfs or Chaos. Uh, it would be nice to face them earlier rather than later because they get more dangerous the, the longer things go on. So as long as it's not everybody getting stunned, we're, we're kind of fine with stuns. I think I might try and feign to one side to see if we can like pull pull them across to defend that side oh, he's giving me a tempting yeah, yeah that's what we're gonna do I think we're just gonna blitz this guy down and kinda make out like we're trying to make a something happen here yeah he's just standing me up all the way across so I'm gonna have to do some dodging which I don't like Okay, so just so we have something of a safe place, we're going all the way here. We're going to bring this guy here, and then we're going to start dodging. Um, start with this guy. Okay, now it's not as important who does what. I'm tempted to send somebody up as an even to make it even more convincing. See how far we get. Hmm, not as far as I'd like. Uh, we're not going to re-roll that. Uh, let's see... He actually can't bring too many guys over here. I would like to have dodged more guys out. Um, have a thin line here just so he couldn't like wrap around and see if he tried to really block this side up. As it is, the ball is safe, uh, but we're going to take some hits. And they can get in the cage. I mean, it's, it's not really a cage, but... If they actually, of course, if they do something crazy and don't... Um, Block me up on this side. Oh, that's the guy I just hired, I think. No, no, it's not. 
But it's still still no experience, so. Another dead elf, unfortunately. Is that three dead now? I don't think we had any actual regular injuries. I think they all just flat out died. So yeah, let's see how they uh, approach this. They may just kill my whole team. They're just taking the easy blocks right now. I mean, for instance, if they come down heavy on this, but don't remember to mark this guy, he can uh, he can get away, somewhat. I do expect them to blitz into the cage here. Successfully. So are they going to worry about this guy? I'm going to be really tempted to try and do a bit of a long pass to him if they don't. He could just run over and secure that. In fact, he could go all the way behind. He's got to reroll that, I think. He's not in, not in place yet. Okay. I think they're trying to make it so I can't... Ah, oh, they did it. Okay. Still, we have some possibilities. I'm tempted to try and just make a break for it and try and secure this right now. Okay, now this guy dodges back. Successfully. Is he going to go here? So he's actually made this a little tricky. Could get it to this guy. Can't really outpace them though. So who do I... I have very few guys free. Hmm. Oh, and this isn't actually op as open as it looked. Sorry, just sink in here. <clears throat> I don't feel safe making a break for it here. So I think we're going to do a blitz here. And we're going to try and form something of a screen back here. and just drop behind it temporarily. Uh, downside is now I don't have any safe moves. So we really have to hope that this works. I think I just picked this guy up. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> uh, we are going to reroll that one. Got to get our dodging working. Oof. Well, now there's trouble. Not end of the world trouble yet, but um, definitely blitz on the witch elf here. Kind of wishing I'd... No, I'm not wishing I stood this guy up. I'd have liked to have dodged him out, but he'd have had the same problem. Okay, so he's going to knock that guy down. Maybe this guy runs in for the assist. Uh, he's kind of blocked himself up a little bit here. This guy can... Okay, this guy's assisting. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be GFIs to do this. Okay, that's not bad for us, because now it goes from a two dice to him to a two dice to us. 
Yeah, it's got to reroll that. Well, it doesn't have to reroll, but probably it's going to. Nice. Okay, so how did that help us? This guy is free. We're still kind of blocked off. They've got a nice sort of block off up here. Nothing's really going on over here. You can pick him up and do a block here. Transfer over this way. I think I'm going to pick up this blitzer just for safety. I'm going to pick up him just for safety. We're going to see what happens here. Okay, that's good. We're going to stay. We can get over to here. Then we can block. Can't block as well as we'd like just going there. I'd really like to go here. If I drop this, it's pretty disastrous though. Okay, we're just going to go here. Nope. Here it is. And here. This is not a secure position by any means. Um, but we're going to try and secure it a little bit more. This guy would be a huge help. I think I'm going to reroll this if he fails. I hate to say it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's really nice. Because this guy can't really get involved now. Um. Yeah, and then we just stay stay where we are. So they can get round in theory. Well, Five, six, seven. Yeah, it's not easy there. Uh, downside is we haven't really sort of. This isn't the side switch that we had talked about. Um, they can just jump down, block us off again. But they have to commit a decent amount to try and block people down down here, so we may still try and push up this side. I feel like I've made this harder for myself than I should have done. I'm always so much worse on uh, on defense. Okay, that's nice. Oh no, it's not. I thought I thought that was a dodge guy. So I don't I don't think unless I really misread this, I don't think they can get at my witch elf very easily. They could maybe base her, or they could blitz through this guy and, yeah, they could knock this guy down, run a guy over, blitz this guy over and base. Looks like what they're going to do. Or they may try and, oh. Okay. Bring in, maybe they're going to bring these guys down, blitz this guy, and block off my straight ahead route. Yeah, because this guy is their biggest threat right now. Could potentially blitz through here. So, blitz. Round. This guy blocks here. It gives me a potential avenue. I think there's something on here. Oh, they're probably just going to move this guy up. Or maybe down and in. Is he going to try and move? Is he going to try and GFI this? There's no need this guy can just come in. Oh, I forgot he was just going to one dice this. Huh. 
All right. Ooh, ooh. That is really good. Him moving there is is huge. Um, oh, I think I have to do this with the witch elf herself. She's gonna have to blitz her way out. But basically, he made this guy a single. Gonna have to take some more hits here. Just in the name of safety. I'd like to dodge with this guy and push. Um, but I, I'm just so scared about the 2+. plus. This is two two dice blocks. One of which has failed horribly. Okay, this is more scary now. Ah, that's not great either. Oof, we almost failed that dodge as well. Um, you can't reach. I use my reroll, so this gets a lot more scary now. Uh, who is the least worrying guy to do this with? There's nobody really. I think it's this guy because these guys are slightly blocked off. Okay. That's big. And if we can, we go here. And we go here. No, nope. so they're going to be on the Witch Elf again next turn, but she's in the right direction there. Much better they call get us jammed up up here than down here. So yeah, the, the, they had a really good setup until that guy moved down there. Runners have some speed, but yeah, that's not enough. I don't think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you could stand her up, but that's about it. This is where this is where you can defend against dwarfs so much easier than against other teams. If this was humans even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get a seven assist, maybe you get a blitzer to go around the outside. That's a lot of GFIs just to get an assist. That you're not probably going to be able to follow up on. Oh boy. Okay, they, they just went all out. I don't really blame them. This is... The best they could have done outside of that is um... is just... Oh, you made it through. Uh, okay, I didn't expect that. Nice thing is they went again with the guy without tackle. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they want to put somebody in base contact so that there's a tackler on her. That was uh, that was a risky move with elves trying to blitz through there. Yeah, lone dwarfs. Okay, that's that's a good move. They didn't. One, two, three, four. Okay, I guess this guy at the end is going to come around and stand next to her. No, that means I can still dodge on a two plus two plus with my reroll, but uh, it's a bit more scary. And this guy is not completely out of range. The good news, if you want to look at it this way, is that they are pulling their guys more and more back, and they are one down. So they have to score to get anything out of this game. All they have uh, is this guy close to my end of the field right now, who has agility 3. Everybody else has agility 2 or less. Oh, that's uh, exciting. I mean, technically, we could try and score.
That's an interesting dodge. Oh wow, these dwarfs are showing some really jealous- Oh, if he goes- Oh, if he'd gone another one, that would have made my life very difficult. Just a 2 plus here and I suddenly have some rough decisions. So we're gonna- we're gonna stand some guys up just in case this doesn't work. Uh, I'm not gonna stand these guys up. Well, yeah I am. I don't think we're going to throw any actual blocks, we're just kind of trying to get people on his people so that if the ball does bubble loose um, okay we passed that bit um, would I rather, I think I'd rather it goes, if it's going to bubble, I'd rather it bubbles over here Yeah, we gotta go in. Or try. <clears throat> so this is not a great game for an example of how to play <laughs> Elves versus Dwarfs, but we're kind of getting away with it. It's despite my inattention to detail. Um, I think... Trying to decide if we stand this up. I think we do. There's the possibility of scoring again. Yeah. Uh, depending on what happens with the kickoff, we may just try and sort of dodge away, dodge away, dodge away. But if we get like a blitz or they just make some mistakes, maybe we try and we have the speed to get a blitzer up there for a last turn touchdown. Um, none of our blitzes bar our block one are going to level up, but oh, he's getting all the rerolls. I think I had a game a couple games ago where I got three-year-olds in a row, so fair enough. So yeah, so now I'm tempted. Um, and I think the way we try it is just to punch through here. didn't really work how we would have liked. Oh, I might have wanted to step there. No, it's okay. You know what? Uh, we're going to go stand next to the ball if our GFIs allow it. We'll have a two dice block there. Could potentially get one here. Uh, if this one works, I can probably get some more guys through. Put you there. Put you here. Could do the same on this side. Oh, I'm going to reroll that. I know I should save that for the last turn, but I don't want to get hurt unnecessarily. Plus, it lets me get this guy through. I'm actually going to just sit on here. All right, pressure is on. Um, he can score, he can score, he can score. She can't score. I would really love if he would just go for that pickup. Especially if he does it before blocking. Because I have, I have left myself open to take some blocks. So 
So we are, um, we're at least one guy down for the next game. So maybe it was good that we bought the extra, um, the extra lineman. Because, uh, you know, we're gonna, <laughs> we're, we're now, maybe we save up for the witch elf again. Maybe we just try and get another new lineman in. It's a downside to playing a touch more aggressively, I guess. No need not to reroll that. May as well go for it. I don't know who he's going to bring to blitz here. Maybe the, maybe the blitzer? Or he's going to blitz with... Yeah. Blitz with the blitzer. Oh. Is he going to blitz through the ball with the ball carrier? I don't know. Oh. He's just trying to stop me scoring, I think. Yeah, I think the new lineman we picked up was called, yeah, it was Dow. Dow. Okay, nice. So, it's going to be another case where we try and bobble the ball and hope hope it pops out somewhere fun. Um... Is this going to be... Put some once in here. That would be a problem. Just trying to work out who to try and blitz with. I think I have to blitz with the witch, which is kind of risky due to uh, frenzy. Because I'm pushing here first. I may bubble the ball out, but then get nobbled on the uh, follow through. Yeah, because I can't really get anybody else up there. Oh well. In for a penny, in for a pound. Okay, so we got the push, so that's <laughs> it's kind of bad, because we do bobble the ball. And then we have a rough... Oh, we got away with that bit. Um, Yeah, you don't cause me any problems. So, sadly, you're still here. I guess we just go for this. If we get it... That's beautiful. If we don't, hopefully we don't die. Oh, actually, you should, you should go for it because you'll level up if, uh, if you make it. Whew! That was some uh, silly elf stuff there. Didn't deserve that. But we're not going to complain. So now the tradition is set everybody up as far away as possible so that they uh, can't block them. Let's make sure we don't have any SPP on the line. And that's good. So, was this deserving of a 3 nil? Not really. Um, I, I mean, obviously they were making some mistakes as well, but maybe a 2 nil, 2 one was reasonable. I mean, I guess ultimately it doesn't matter. 1-0, 3-0, 8-0. Oh, Blizzard. That looks kind of cool. It's not really going to affect anything. So now he's just trying to kill me as much as possible.
Nothing better than KOs on the last turn. Okay, is he gonna worry about fouling that guy? Nope. Alright, good stuff. So we leveled up uh, the Witch and the Blitzer, which was really nice for the future. It's going to be a block and a dodge unless we roll something crazy. So we could accept that, take the 70k and buy a new guy. I feel like that's probably the sensible thing to do, honestly. Oh, he <laughs> he leveled up and he got, got man of the match for that beautiful run at the end. Um, so they really didn't hold on to the ball. They had a tough time with that. Uh, let's see. That looks fairly normal. I guess we rolled on the higher side, in fairness. Uh, that's pretty even. 15-11, 15-11. A rough, real rough time with the pickups. Some of those may not have been as easy as they look, though. Block dice, pretty even spread. Did we get a... We actually rolled more skulls. Yeah. Quick level up here. I'll buy the player between games. So. Okay, nine is just dodge. Uh, if you're not playing dwarfs, that's very useful. <laughs> okay, nine. That is going to be block. I could do a wrestle, uh, I might do a wrestle on the second witch elf and uh, use her as a ball stripper, give her wrestle and tackle and strip ball and then there's very little that will, that holds up against that uh, for holding onto the ball, it kind of covers all their bases of being good at uh, avoiding you, uh, but that's a, a ways off right now because we still have to buy this, um, what are we foreign to? It's not an amazing record, but at least we're in the positive. Uh, yeah, we need to buy this Lyman for now. Unless I, I will have a think about holding off because 40k is not out of the realms of possibility for winnings from the next match. Even if we lose, if we roll well. Uh, it just means one more game with a, a loner, but we're kind of used to that, so I'll think about it. All right. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.